How you doing, everyone? Joe from Hogging Out. I hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. In this Hog Nose Care video, guys, I show you guys the process, processes, processes, a step-by-step -step process on how I clean out my Hog Nose terrariums. And in this video, we're going to clean out Annie's terrarium. And of course, I'll tell you guys how to clean any kind of wood products, how to clean your water ball, your water dish, so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's get on with this hog nose care video, and that is cleaning your terrarium. And let's do that here on Hogging Out. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're gonna clean uh, two terrariums today, Annie's and also, uh, what's this dude's name over here, Nirvana. I try to do it every three to four months. Um, I, I took the stickers off. I usually put stickers where their names are um, and put the date on the last time I cleaned it. So what we're gonna do is take her out, put the hide in the temp uh, tub for her, and then uh, we'll clean it out. So this is the tub I put uh, Annie in temporarily until we clean out her uh, terrarium and get her back in in a nice clean terrarium. Make her very happy. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to actually soak this in hot water just in case there's any wood mites on there. Uh, I have had a problem with wood mites, but uh, I usually take care of it right away, address the issue. I'm going to show you a reptile spray that I use when I clean out their uh, terrariums to get rid of any parasites, possible parasites or wood mites. So we're going to put that in hot water and let it soak for about 15-20 minutes. We're also going to take out the water dish guys, the water bowl. We're also going to soak this too and clean this up with a um, toothbrush, an old toothbrush. And just clean that up really good. So let's take out all the substrate, the old substrate. We'll uh, get all this old poop off the bottom. We'll spray it down with the reptile spray. Clean it, then we'll spray it down with water and then clean it again and let it sit for about 20 minutes. Alright, All right, let's get the substrate out. Got a little uh, Travis uh, Whistler's uh, pooper scooper here. Pooper scraper. Alright guys, we're going to use a little reptile spray here, uh, kills mites on reptiles, you can spray it on your reptile, just don't do it in the face, or you just read the directions. And it says that reptile spray can be used on surfaces of terrariums and other habitats. So um, we're going to spray this, let this sit for a few minutes, and then just make sure we don't have any mites or any parasites in here. Okay, we'll let that sit for a few minutes. All right, now we're just gonna wipe it down, the spray, the reptile spray, whip down really good. Then after that, we're gonna spray it down with water, clean that, and then spray it again with water, and then clean all the glass, and then uh, put the new substrate in there, and uh, we should be good to go, put an ante back in. All right, everyone, after I hit it with the reptile spray, I let it sit for 20 minutes. I sprayed it down two times. I only showed you the first time. Sprayed it down two times with water, got in there really good, clean it, let it sit for about 20 minutes, a half an hour. Now we are ready to put in a new substrate, the Aspen bedding. I cleaned the log off, let it sit in hot water for about 20 minutes. I cleaned the water dish out, so we're ready to go. Let's put everything back in. All 
Now I don't add too much aspen bedding, reason being is my hot noses like to go around the outside perimeter. What happens is they end up kicking this all back into the center. And after they push it through the center, what happens is they can use it and burrow in it. And uh, you know, you don't need to put too much in there. All right guys, here's the log. Uh, the log I put in boiling hot water for about 20 minutes. Let's sit for about 20 minutes. And uh, still a little wet, a little damp, but you know what, the heat lamp, the basking lamp will uh, definitely dry it out here very soon. So we're gonna put it the same exact way that we had it before. It's the way Annie likes it. I'm gonna put the water dish out, clear the substrate a little bit, put the water dish down on the bottom. And then put the substrate around it. And we'll fill it up. And the last thing we need to put in is her hide on the warm side. I'll bring it out a little bit because she likes to go around the back side of it. So we'll put the water dish a little bit closer like we had it. And there we go guys, a nice clean terrarium for Annie. Alright guys, let's put Annie back in. There you go girl. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this Hognose Care video, cleaning your terrarium. I'm a little backed up currently on content, but guess what guys, in the next week or two, I'm going to be posting a lot of videos. So I appreciate your newfound or continuous support for the channel. If you're new here, you dig my channel, click that subscribe button along with the notification bell. That being said, you guys have a great weekend, I will see you in the next video. This is Joe from Hogging Out, I'm out. Cheers.